Welcome back to your favorite music theory ASMR. So today we're going to learn about inversions and specifically chord inversions. So what does that mean? An inversion basically means you're putting something upside down or inverted. So let's just take our C major chord, right? So that'd be C, E, and G. So what happens if we take this C off here and then we add it here, right? We go, so E, G, C. That's what we call an inversion. That would be the first inversion. Okay? And then we can, because we have three notes, we can continue that as well. We can also go G, C, E. You understand? And that, that would be called the second version. So I think that's quite interesting because in one chord, you actually get three, if, if it's a three note chord, of course. If you have a four note chord or a five note chord or a six note chord, there'll be more inversions. And that's the wonderful thing about music is that if you have a melody, you can then build chords around it. And I, I would encourage you to experiment here and see what inversion you like the most. I like the first inversion a lot. It's very, I find it very melodic. This one sounds quite dark and this one sounds quite normal. I encourage you to discover this on your guitar or your piano and you can let me know what that sounds like in the comments. And if you want to have an exercise, how about you give me the inversions of D minor? You can let me know in the comments. See, if we take D, what would D, D minor inversions be? And what about E? E minor. Let me know in the comments and we'll see if you're correct. I hope that makes sense and I will see you in the next episode.